Hello everyone, this is Helios Raven, I tell you how I do it, even if you don't care. And this is a quick video of a correction that I just realized I made a little bit of a mistake in my last video that we did. As you can see, the model's been um, a little bit more assembled since then because I just realized this. In the video, you'll see I set up the basilisk so it can sit down like that. And when in actuality, it's supposed to slide down like this. <laughs> and sit down like that. Now, the magnet that we placed in there can still be usable. I just had to do one small cr one small adjustment to it, which is we take the magnet and we place it right there where it's supposed to, where it's going to sit. And then we take a little bit of green stuff like so, just cuz I just want to do it this way to make it a little bit easier. And we take it and we mold. <clears throat> I'm doing it this way just so everyone knows because it's easier than trying to shave down that little plastic bit I had before into the proper shape. And what I do is I put a little bit of green stuff here underneath the basilisk's blast shield because there's just a small tiny gap where the two pieces just don't really touch each other. The two magnets, if I left it, if I glued it directly onto it, that is. So after I take it, I then take the basilisk, put it on, and attach the two pieces as if it was being put on for real. And then, as you can see, the magnet is, let's see if I could zoom in on there. The magnet is now attached and made contact with the green stuff right there and what I'm going to do is take my sculpting tool and nudge it in there so it can really press the green stuff up around the magnet now chances are I would bet money on this that when I remove this later the green stuff is going to not catch the um, is not going to keep the magnet in place, but what I can do then is is it'll make a nice little platform that the green stuff that the magnet can sit in, and I can super glue it on there after the fact. So there we go. Get in there with a little bit and just smooth it out, and the problem is solved. Now you'll notice in some episodes that um, the tank is still built for the old way that I set up this up, but just so in case anyone decides to call me out on it, I did realize it and I have fixed the problem, so that is all for now, and until next time, this is Helios Raven, signing off.